Yeah, welcome back to Fireside Kiwi and Rural Fire Service in New Zealand. And for the previous videos, we showed you how to set up the uh, burn tray simulator. So the gas is coupled up, and off screen, five metres away, we've got the LPG uh, vapour supply. And off to my right here, we've got the top lead that's used to supply uh, power to the dead man switch, and the two controllers and lock off. The black is for the outer burn room and the white one is for the centre burn room. The smaller cable at the bottom, up to my right, goes off screen and that goes to your power supply. So that can either be the cigarette lighter in the vehicle, a remote cable that we supply that can be hooked up directly to the vehicle battery, or it can be used to a, port a portable battery pack. So to operate this unit, so at the moment I'm not going to light it, but just to show you how it works, we turn the lock off dead man switch so it's activated and if I hold down the black button you'll hear the gas come out. The moment I let go of that switch it kills the power which turns off the lock offs and isolates the LPG so it no longer burns which provides us with a double action safety device. If the instructor lets go of the button it instantly cuts off the gas but if the instructor pushes the dead man switch in it's a double lock off so it isolates the whole simulator. So to go through it again, we'll activate it. Now, the other option we have is using the white button. That's for the pop simulator. Once again, if I activate the dead man so it's ready and armed, and we'll hold down the white button, you'll hear the gas coming out. So to give you a demonstration of how this works, in the previous videos I mentioned that we use a portable um, benzomatic igniter. The reason we use this rather than electronic it's a lot easier and safer to use. So the way we do this, you hold the button in and the piezo ignition. It's strongly recommended when you light these simulators that you actually light and drag across as opposed to putting it into the simulator. If we put it into the simulator like that, you run the risk of getting burnt. So to show you how this works, so basically I'll leave my PPA on there for the demonstration. Hold the black button down. So you can see with the video, it's quite an effective flame. So now the trainees will be approaching the burn to actually try and put out the simulator fire using the fire extinguisher. If the instructor lets go of the isolating button, it instantly turns it off. If the instructor gets into trouble with the trainee or there's a problem with the simulator itself, you hit the dead man switch, which is a red button, and it isolates the power so no gas can come through the double lock off. Show you how that works again. So I'll apply my PTE, button down. And normally I'd have my PTE down, but just so you can actually see what's going on. So the moment we let go of that button, it'll actually the fire dissipates. Now yeah, to show you how the other simulator works, with this uh, burn tray simulator we've actually incorporated two simulators. One's the outer burn uh, ring, which is a traditional burn pan, using LPG as your uh, source of fuel. And the other one is a pot which simulates a kitchen fire, so you can actually use a dry tea towel, which has been then dunked in water, wrung out, to suppress the fire, or you can use a traditional fire blanket, or traditional methods as in fire extinguisher over it. Show you how it works. Activate the dead man switch, hold down the sender, the white button, and switch it. So you can see that's quite an effective fire. So we can regulate that either by using the button or we can actually turn down the regulator on the LPG supply. At the moment, we set a full pressure, which is about 20 psi. That's to give us quite an effective burn. So you can see there it's quite effective and at the moment by regulating it what I'm doing is I can control the flame height and, and cut. Now just to bear in mind stainless steel is really quick at absorbing heat so it's imperative that the instructor wears uh, proper gloves. Because uh, if you go down to touch the simulator or to actually remove the burn tray which I'm about to show you now you run the risk of burning your own hands, so you must always wear gloves. So to show you the simulator now, without the actual pot around it, 
So once again, I'll apply my PTE, and this time we activate the dead man switch, and we're going to use the white button, as you can see there on the camera. And now we're actually getting quite a good burn. So this simulator is very good for using for toe drill training. And quite effective. The moment I let go of the control button, it isolates itself straight away. Show you how that works again. Very effective. So we can put our pot back on there. Now there's no locking mechanism for holding the pot. Basically it's its weight that sits in a pool of water so the LPG gas comes through. Show you how that one works again. PPE on. We depress the button. And we'll have to go. Something goes wrong, the dead man, and it will isolate it and it will go out. I'll show you how the remote burner goes, as in the main burn tray once again. PPE on. We're going to depress the black button and do a sweeping mode. My apologies. I left the dead man activated. So we'll activate the dead man so it's ready and armed. And so I'm going to press the black button and use an air igniter. So if you want to um, replicate the flame and change the frame, you can actually regulate it using the control button. And to show you what happens when we use the main centre burn tray, uh, once again, this time we're going to use the white button, P2 down, hold the button down and push it up. That's quite an effective burn. So to turn the unit off, if you're going to actually talk to a trainee or um, help a trainee um, fix their procedures for proceeding to extinguish the fire, we can activate the dead man switch which isolates the simulator. And then as a secondary precaution, what we can do is I'll go off screen and we can actually isolate the supply valve on the regulator and on the LPG cylinder. So, I hope that was a good demonstration. If you'd like any further information about FireSafe Kiwi's uh, live burn LPG fuel fire simulators, you can contact us on our webpage, which is www.firesafe.kiwi, or alternatively, you can send us an email to simon at rural-fire.com. So thanks for joining us today. Um, I hope this demonstration has been beneficial and we look forward to doing business with other clients.